Hey guys, the Firebird is here. It's just me, my brother couldn't be here today because, I don't know, he got chopped in half like Cliff Jumper. There, that's the joke. Hope you guys are happy. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this to drop today, but we have a new trailer for the War for Cybertron Netflix series, and oh boy, just in time because I had nothing ready for today, or tomorrow, or the day after that. So free content. I'm super happy about that. And it's not because I'm lazy, it's just because I've been busy working on other stuff. I have a non-transformers video in the works and I'm also working on the Infernicus redesign part 2. I know you guys are really excited about that so you know, yay! So Netflix just dropped a new trailer for the War for Sabatron Netflix series along with two new posters and uh, moving posters, whatever you want to call them. In this video, I'm just going to be breaking down the second trailer that we just got. I'm gonna tell you some details that you might have missed, some interesting speculation and stuff like that, you know? So it's going to be much like the last video when I talked about the Netflix series. Now we start the trailer here in this mass graveyard and I love this shot. I think this is pretty cool. And here we can see that Ultra Magnus and a bunch of Seekers. And there's another uh, Decepticon. I don't know who that is. Pretty hard to tell. But it looks like they're all like walking together amidst, you know, all the dead around them. This is a pretty cool shot. And we do know that Ultra Magnus is probably going to turn traitor, much like Sentinel Prime did in Dark of the Moon. But I feel like we're still missing some context. Here we see Ultra Magnus's walk of shame. Oh, actually, never mind. I think the Decepticon in I think the Decepticon in the background is actually Megatron. Just by looking at the way this is shot, I think that's Megatron. But I don't know who the little one is. It could be Barricade. Could be. Now here we have some of the Decepticons, Spinister, and I think that guy was named, I think this is Skyquake or Thread or something like that, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have his name on the screen, but here we see that they're looking at a bunch of Autobots on spikes? Or maybe Decepticons? It's pretty hard to tell. We see the Decepticon flag in there, so I'm assuming that these are dead Autobots. They're also, you know, very colorful, so Autobot it is. And that's actually pretty brutal for a Transformers series. Like, can you imagine Transformers Prime characters? Their bodies just, you know, being lifted by spikes in the show? Yeah, I don't think so. So, it's, 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 it's good, you know? It's edgy, but it's not too edgy. Just how most fans want this series to be. Here we see a closer look at them. Since we see a head here with blue eyes, it's more likely than not that this is like a mass Autobot, you know, uh, trophy display for the Decepticons. They're like showing like, you know, their kills or whatever. Like any good old Call of Duty player. So here we have Jetfire, Optimus, Prowl, and I'm not sure who the two are on the front. I think that one's Host, the one to the left, and the one to the right, I think it's Cub. I could be wrong, I don't know, it's pretty hard to tell from here. Although I didn't cover this, a while ago we got a short sneak peek at the series, and in there we saw Terracons coming back. Terracons are not a new concept, they're basically undead Cybertronians, so whatever is going on here, it has more likely something to do with the whole Megatron reviving the dead Cybertronians thing. Now something very weird happens to Bumblebee here. If we slow down we see all these like beams of light like just hitting Bumblebee and then like he's in clear pain and like his hand is like having this glowy effect and his eyes are green. Now will Bumble be dying in this series? Will Hasbro be bold and do something so unexpected that's gonna catch us by surprise? I highly doubt it, unfortunately. I mean, can you imagine how shocking will it be if Bumblebee just dies? It probably won't happen. But the green eyes kinda reminds me of the synthetic energy on plotline from Transformers Prime. So maybe we'll see some Transformers Prime plotlines occur in the Netflix trilogy. Because I mean, they're already bringing the Terracons back, so... Synthetic Energon doesn't seem too outlandish at this point. And in case you're wondering, Synthetic Energon is basically like... It's basically manufactured Energon, artificial Energon. It's like a substitute to natural Energon, and it kinda gives you a bit of a power-up. That's basically what it is. So, the Autobots are... In a pretty bad shape. We see some with their legs missing, some with their arms missing, they're all pretty injured. There's also plenty of recolors, like I don't think this is Hound, Mirage, and whoever that guy is at the, at the bottom. It looks like we're gonna see tons of like Autobot recolors to fill in the ranks, which I honestly don't mind because something that bothered me of Transformers Prime is how the Autobots were so, you know, lacking in numbers and somehow managed to kill over a million Decepticon drones. 
So seeing, you know, a few extra faces here and there in the background kind of helps the world feel a bit more, you know, bigger and lived in. Okay, this might be unintentional, but that guy looks like Roadbuster. I mean, orange, green, this guy looks so much like Roadbuster, even though he's using like the side swipe mold. We also see a few all about flyers here and there. This guy looks like Knockout. I'm pretty sure these guys are just filler, but I mean, that guy just stands out so much. It has to be Roadbuster. Now here we see Laserbeak and Buzzsaw. So we have two more confirmed characters for this series. It's always nice to see Laserbeak and I'm glad that Buzzsaw is getting some love too. Oh by the way, I'm making a Soundwave video talking about all of his cassettes throughout all the continuities very soon. So you know, hit the notification bell if you guys are interested in catching that video. So we see Ratchet here and he's pretty much confirmed to appear in the series now. My guess is that we're probably gonna see all of the Siege Toyline characters because so far it looks like they're trying to get all of them in here. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up getting <laughs> the Transformer Cybertron lookalike Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is talking about the Auto Spark in here and, and about Megatron possibly, you know, getting his hands on it. And it's honestly giving me some Vietnam flashbacks at Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Hopefully this series can handle that plotline of a dark matrix better, you know, if we even reach that point. I mean, anything has to be better than that game. I know some people are not gonna like Shockwave's voice, but I think it fits him pretty well. He actually feels like a mad scientist speaking. Now, we don't- we still don't know what Megatron's, like, full-on plan is. As far as we know, we know that it involves the matrix in some way. From what I heard in a plot synopsis, it looks like Megatron is going full on beast machines. Like he's gonna try to unify all of Cybertron under like one consciousness or one banner. There was basically a plot summary about the show and it mentioned something like that, so... It looks like the series is taking plenty of cues from past TF series, which it's honestly a good thing, nice callbacks. I'm all for it. Here we see Ultra Magnus being tortured by presumably Megatron. My guess is that Ultra Magnus betrays the Autobots in some way and then he regrets it, he has a change of heart and Megatron kind of just, you know, um, imprisons him for you know, betraying him. Which, it looks like that's gonna be the case and it looks like Ultra Magnus is going the way of Sentinel Prime which I bet a lot of people are not gonna like but if this new story manages to like, you know, go in an interesting direction, I honestly won't mind it. I'm not like, you know, judging based on like the concept. I'm judging based on the execution. We see some Chromium and Alita 1 action and the music right now is reminding me of Fall of Cybertron so you know it's actually kind of getting me hyped up for the show. Here we have a shot of Optimus Prime cutting down some of the Rainmaker Seekers. He has his battle axe on the toy line so you know they're really keeping in with like making these characters look very you know toy authentic so for people who complain about toys not looking exactly like they do in some Transformers movies or shows it looks like you won't be complaining about that in this series. We have a shot of Ironhide, he's confirmed to be on the show, so that's nice. Hopefully he doesn't get killed by Ultra Magnus. Now, this is a blink and you'll miss at the moment, but here we can see what it looks to be the arc. Here we have Soundwave and a bunch of already Decepticons, they're pretty, I think that's Impactor. It's pretty hard to tell who's who, but because of the way the scene is framed, it looks like Ironhide is the one going to be piloting the arc out of Cybertron. So this is very follow Sabaton esque at the moment. We see a shot of Optimus Prime fighting Megatron. Pretty hard to tell where they are. They could be inside the Ark or they could be somewhere else in Cybertron. The scenery kind of reminds me of the Well of All Sparks at the end of Transformers Prime. It's probably just a coincidence. Here we have the Refractors being pushed back. And I have a feeling the Refractors are going to be the Steves of this show. And now for the part that actually kind of blew my mind, we see the hand of Omega Supreme. And it's been so long since we've seen Omega Supreme in like a major kind of role in the Transformers show. So seeing him return like this, it's like amazing. Like I really like Omega Supreme and I hope like he gets like a really epic action scene. And the trailer kind of just ends. If anything, I feel like this trailer had a lot of like Easter eggs, callbacks, references to like plenty of the old, you know, um, Transformers shows and maybe even some of the movies. My only complaint right now will be that, like, the voices. Like, they don't quite do it for me. Optimus Prime sounds passable. 
I get why Hasbro's like, you know, uh, trying new voices for some of their more, you know, uh, renowned characters like Optimus Prime. You can't have Peter Cullen be voicing him 24-7, which I get that. But it's like a Cyber situation. In Cyber, I honest, honestly didn't really like the guy who voiced Optimus Prime. Here, um, it sounds a little better, but it's it still doesn't quite cut it for me. But then again, the amount of dialogue we heard from the trailers isn't like too much. It's pretty, it's very minimal so far. So it's still a little bit early to judge. I wanna say I still have hopes for it that it'll get better. But it looks like the series by this point is pretty much done. I have to admit, the second trailer looks much, much better than the first trailer does, in my opinion. Like, the action looks better, the character models look slightly better, the voices still need some work. But, other than that, um, I will say I'm still pretty hyped for this series. Like, at the beginning I was kind of like, meh, and then the quiet happened and I lost interest. Now I'm more excited for it. I know that the reception right now, like, people's thoughts are pretty mixed, like, you either like it, or you hate it. The animation looks, well, for the first trailer, it looked a bit stiff. Here, it looks a bit more fluent, you know? But then again, it's Netflix, and it's Rooster Teeth. I know some people like to say that Rooster Teeth can do no wrong, but you have to remember that some of the people who worked on the story, the script, are the same people who work for the Prime Wars trilogy, and we all know how that turned out. Now, I have my own personal gripes with Rooster T because some of some of the stuff they do. On the bright side, I can say that this doesn't look like political, which it's a plus for me. Like it's a miracle that a new show comes out and it's all about action and entertaining people and not just, you know, a political message like most things seem to be nowadays. So it gets a thumbs up for me because of that. This looks alright, it looks alright, it doesn't look great, that's my biggest problem with this. People thought the same thing about Transformers Prime when it first came out, you know, eh, the animation doesn't look that good, the character models are meh, the story is not that good, and over time, Transformers Prime became easily one of the best Transformers series of all time. It's like commonly regarded to be one of the best TF shows we have ever gotten, if not the best show. So maybe Siege will also be somewhat up there. We still, you know, only have two trailers to go on. So, you know, anything can happen. This trailer honestly didn't really reveal much. It kind of just shows some of the characters that are going to appear in the series along with, you know, uh, some other small details like locations, some hits toward the plot, the canon father of the universe, and that this is mostly going to be focused on Optimus Prime and Megatron, which it's something that I always wanted for a TF series. So I'm glad that we're finally getting that. This could either be really, really good like Transformers Prime, or it can be hot garbage like Transformers Energon, which a lot of people in the TFW 2005 website are comparing to. Then again, this is the Transformers fandom where everything is never good enough. But anyways guys, before we go, shout out to our patrons, More Rice Prime. Mateo, Mario Gordon, Christopher Prime, Stephanie Ballard, and the absolute madman himself, Jordan the Great, who donated $100. Thank you guys for donating, it's much appreciated, and if you guys want to donate to my Patreon, links are in the description down below and in the comments down below. By donating to my Patreon, you'll get access to some of my videos early, you can request your own videos, you'll receive a shout out at the end of my videos, you can participate in some of my videos if you so choose, and you get a few previews of some of my new works that are currently in development. There are plenty of rewards that you get as a result of becoming one of my patrons, and I do plan to adding a few more in the future as time goes on and the patrons grow, but keep in mind that donating is entirely optional, because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you to my patrons for donating, it's much appreciated. And if you guys wanna donate, you know what to do. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you all think. Honestly, I'm pretty hopeful for this series. Like, I get why some people say this looks boring, this looks, you know, uh, stiff, this looks meh. Like, I get that, you know? Like, when you compare this trailer to the masterpiece that is the War for Cybertron and Follow Cybertron trailers, this doesn't look quite as good. But it doesn't really have to be. Remember, different formats, that's a video game, this is basically a TV show, and honestly, the action looks like it's going to be pretty decent, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. It still hasn't like, blown me away, 
but I'll give it a chance. If you guys are interested on like the Netflix TV series, then I might start making some theory videos or like some explain videos, and I might cover the series when it. Well, I will cover the series when it comes out. You know, I feel like it's almost mandatory. But I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below what you think of all this. Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? Do you think this looks disappointed? Are you hype? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. And let's just get a small discussion going about this series. I have some small gripes, but for the most part, I'm still pretty, you know, optimistic about it. Who knows, maybe it will blow me away, but we'll just have to wait and see. Only 24 more days to go. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoy. Sorry if it feels a bit rush. You know, I honestly wasn't expecting to make a video today. I'm still working on the friend account free design. And yeah, I've just been really busy, but don't worry, I'll start uploading again pretty soon. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe guys.